Asus sent me their GL502 VS. It's actually a really awesome GTX 1070 powered laptop with a brushed aluminium finish on the back and illuminated RG logos. You also have SD card reader as well as two USB 3 ports and a 4 pole headphone slash microphone jack, USB type C port as well as type A 3.0, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.4, Gabe LAN and DC in. In terms of specs, you've got an i7-6700HQ, a GTX 1070 running at 1645MHz with 8GB of DDR5 RAM. Mine had 32GB of DDR4 RAM as well as a 250GB M.2 SSD and a 1TB hard drive, although they do come in varying specs, so do take a look at that. Now in terms of the touchpad, it really wasn't that great. Two finger scrolling does work, but it really didn't feel that quality, and the keyboard actually did feel quite nice. This was some for some reason a Spanish layout, so it was a little bit difficult to actually type on, but the key presses felt quite nice, so that that's uh, you know just about all right. The display was actually a really, it's a really beautiful panel, the colour accuracy is really nice, at least to the eye anyway, and the viewing angles are fantastic. Watching anything on this is just a very pleasurable experience. One thing I would like to note though, is that the pre-installed software that comes in this laptop is pretty mad, there's McAfee and so many pop-ups when you just turn on the laptop, like Asus gift box and stuff like that, so it's quite annoying, but the RG Gaming Center, which for some reason they've replaced the NumLock key with a Gaming Center key, seems to work quite well and allows you to see your settings and change things and profiles and that sort of stuff, so that's quite nice. In terms of temperatures, both the CPU and the GPU hit about 80 degrees, which isn't too bad, and noise wasn't too bad either, which is awesome, but in terms of gaming performance, as you can expect with the GTX 1070, this thing was really impressive. You're seeing, you know, 12,000 points in uh, 3D Mark Firestrike. You're seeing easily, easily over 60 FPS on ultra settings on pretty much any game. And uh, do bear in mind that obviously this is basically the same desktop card. It's actually got more CUDA cores, but runs at a slower clock speed than the desktop card. So you're looking at, you know, easily powering uh, 1440p gaming just fine. So uh, if you're going to buy a laptop as a sort of investment, this is definitely one to look for. I would suspect that this laptop would do quite well in the sort of three to five year kind of lifetime category while still running games at higher ultra settings. So yeah, I am definitely really impressed with this. The temperatures aren't too bad either. So uh, overall, yeah, it's a really impressive laptop and performance is definitely pretty spot on. As I said, Asus really surprised me with this one. The actual price that I can find for this laptop versus the price I was quoted by MSI for the GS63, which is obviously thinner but a lower spec laptop, is actually a little bit cheaper than the, the MSI model. This Asus laptop with a GTX 1070, the mobile version, which actually has more cores than the desktop one but runs at a lower clock speed, um, is at the same price, at the time of filming in the UK, um, right now it's actually cheaper than the MSI GS63 VR which obviously has a 1060, so a lower performance. That's actually really impressive. Now this laptop, as I said, isn't as thin it's also a bit louder, it's also a bit chunkier, it's a bit more plastic, so it's not as sort of perfectly high quality uh, to compare the two. And uh, this one is probably more similar to the GE range in terms of build quality and that sort of thing. Um, but at the same time, because you do get a 1070 and because it actually runs at a pretty decent temperature, it sits at about 80 degrees, um, it's actually not too bad. It is a little bit on the loud side, but again, just like any gaming laptop, it's still not the loudest I've ever heard and under uh, gaming load. If you have some headphones in, especially some in-ears or uh, you know, sound cancelling over-ears or something, you will not notice the difference. The one thing uh, in terms of heat that I did notice though was on the keyboard to the right hand side, slightly in the middle actually, um, the keyboard did get pretty hot uh, under full load so uh, while you're generally not going to be there when gaming, you know the WSD and space keys and shifts and that sort of thing were all fine, um, the middle right of the keyboard did get quite hot so just do bear that in mind if you are gaming then immediately go to typing or something like that as it might be quite well warm to the touch. Um, other than that, uh, it's a really impressive laptop. As you've seen with the performance numbers, it does a really good job of handling pretty much any game. And this laptop, I know I said it in the MSI laptop video, but this one, now that I've seen this one, is a lot more of a kind of uh, value, sort of a long-term value laptop. You've got a GTX 1070 in there, which is perfect enough to handle 1440p games on the desktop side. So this one running at 1080p would be fantastic for the longer stretch, you know, three to five years type thing where you're still going to be playing games at higher ultra settings on that 1080p panel just fine. So yeah, it's just, it's a really awesome laptop and the, the only real con to have is, as I said, it gets hot in the middle, um, it's a little bit on the noisy side and 
it's a little bit plasticky, especially on the bottom, that sort of thing. But other than that, it does a pretty good job. Um, in terms of uh, scoring, I'm going to go with, uh, actually, for the performance that you get, a 5 for value for money. It is still an expensive laptop, but it really blows the park in terms of what you get for your money in comparison to the other gaming laptops that are out there. In terms of performance, it's going to be a 5. Functionality, I'm going to go with a 4 because of the hotness of the laptop in the middle uh, and the uh, noise overall. Um, although, I must say that the screen is actually really nice as well and does a really good job of uh, different viewing angles and that sort of thing. Um, in terms of styling, I'm going to go with, uh, personally, a 4. It's not the most stylish laptop I've ever seen, but it's certainly, uh, you know, not hideous. Um, and in terms of Tech Team Movie Score, I'm going to go with, uh, I think, a 5 in the Gold Award, because it really is an awesome laptop. You get a lot of performance for your money. And it seems to be a pretty good value, especially for that 1070. Now there are a couple of things like uh, Thunderbolt 3 that are apparently missing according to uh, Asus's reviewer's guide that was sent, um, which you do get on the 1060 model, so I'm not too sure there. But you still get Type-C, which is nice, and it, you know, it's not as if you're going to necessarily need an external graphics stock for this, so um, that's you know all fine. But uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and subscribe. Also feel free to check out my playlist of laptop reviews, I've got a whole host of them from this generation, obviously the MSI one is the most recent one, uh, to the last generation laptops if you're looking to pick up a you know going out of stock bargain. Feel free to check that one out, I'll leave a card up above for you. And uh, yeah, other than that, I guess that's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, feel free to subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Twitter if you did. If you're going to pick this up, please do use the Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. It genuinely helps me out. And if you're buying anything else, please do use those, those links too, um, the sort of more general links, as it does genuinely help me and keeps this, uh, this show on the road, really. So uh, yeah, other than that, as I said, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.